Scene one, Apple, take one. Okay, we have the DIY Predator. Let's see if we can zoom this in a little bit. There we go. All right, let's open this baby up, see what we got. Inside we have our instruction manual. We have our wings. And we have our tail. And then we have our, let's see if we can get this in here. We have our fuselage. Let's take this out. Then we have our, a little packet with, um, what is this? Uh, looks like little accessories, your landing gear, stuff like that. I don't know what that other thing is. I haven't read the uh, instruction manual yet, though. And then finally, we have uh, our charger. All right, now right off, just looking at this thing, I have to tell you, this is my second uh, DIY uh, kit. As you know, I did the uh, transport plane. That thing came in like a million pieces. It had glue and all kinds of stuff. But just at first glance, looking at this one, this one here is gonna be a lot easier. The first thing I noticed was that the uh, wings here, I remember when I did the, uh, the transport plane, it was nothing like this. Like this right here with the transport plane, this was like, I don't know, like eight pieces. You had to literally, uh, you know, you had to, uh, put the uh, motors on, you had to glue them in, run them down the, uh, the little channels here. And not only that, they weren't even marked left or right. So once you glued in the motors um, on the transport plane, it was a pretty much uh, hit and miss. You, you either got it right or you didn't. And so um, I luckily got it right. But just looking at this one right here, this seems like this is gonna be a breeze to put together. All right, let's do it. First thing you wanna do, Grab your fuselage, and if you look at the top, you'll see your battery. 3.7 volt. I think this is a 450 milliamp battery. Put that to the side. And um, again, unlike the uh, other DIY I did, the uh, transport plane, uh, this one uh, doesn't appear to have uh, glue. But I looked in a packet here, and there are some little screws, and we'll get to that in a moment. So now that we have that out, uh, we're going to take out this bottom piece here, and this is going to be where your uh, your board and your battery is. But I like to take this out because what we're going to do, we're going to um, unfold the wing and feed the uh, motor wires through. Let's sit this uh, tail wing aside. Okay. Now when you grab your wing, you're going to unfold it. It's already taped. The wires are already, uh, you know, run through the channels and everything. But in this case, uh, I really appreciate how they did this uh, color coded. They have uh, uh, one of the motors uh, is color coded uh, with the white tip connector, and the other one is red. And what we're going to do, we're going to take this and we're going to feed, we're going to feed these wires down through here, and then we're going to go ahead and plug them into our board. And once again, they did the right thing. They must saw my last video. <laughs> but uh, they color coded uh, the connectors here. So you'll just plug the, uh, the red one in the red one and the white one in the white one. So let's do that now.
And I know this looks a little sloppy, but the idea pretty much is to get those connectors um, plugged in so now we can put everything together. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna open that wing up and uh, we're gonna stick that down like that. Let's stick that down in here. And we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna put these in here like so. Okay. And we're gonna turn this upside down like this and prepare for our next step. Now we have our two packs right here. We have the one pack here that has our landing gear in it and it has this big old plastic piece in it. And all that is, this is gonna be the piece that's gonna hold everything together like, you know, your wings and all that. So we're gonna take this piece out right here. Okay, see that? And you got the, the three uh, tabs and that's gonna go. Here, we'll, you know what, let's just flip it over. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our plane, we're gonna flip it back over. Then, you see these uh, three holes here, are gonna line up with these here. So you're gonna stick that down. I'm gonna try to hold this steady. We're gonna stick that down in here. And then all of uh, the holes will line up. We'll stick that down. And then what's gonna happen is, and like I said, this is actually pretty cool because it eliminates the need for glue. Uh, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have these uh, holes on the other side and they're gonna be marked like uh, A, B, and C, or A, B, and C, however. And then you're gonna take some screws and you're gonna put the screws in and that's gonna lock everything down. And the same thing is gonna happen uh, with the tail. So we might as well do this all at once. Uh, you're gonna take your tail and then your tail, you know, you see the little bumps there and you're gonna stick it down in here where the two holes are here. And then you're gonna have some more screws that you're gonna put in here. And I think that should pretty much uh, be it with the main assembly. So let's do that now. Okay, we're gonna sit that down. Oh, and then your screws, you're gonna find, they're gonna be these real, uh, real, real tiny screws. They're gonna be with your props, your charger, and it's gonna be like a small screwdriver. But if you look closely, oops, sorry about that. If you look closely, uh, you'll see these little screws in there. So we're gonna get those screws out and get everything screwed down. So there you have it folks, the easiest DIY anything I've ever put together. No glue, no muss, no fuss, the thing feels nice and solid, you got your battery compartment, your on and off switch, uh, just plug her in and you're good to go. I'd like to thank you guys for coming out and uh, enjoying this uh, unboxing and uh, quick assembly of the DIY Predator. Support the channel, like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.